Greetings and welcome to Surviving the Aftermath. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I just found out this morning that the game is already for sale right now. Uh, it's on the Epic Games Store, and I would be honored if you use my creator code when you buy the game. The link is in the description below. I didn't even know this when I made the video last night, uh, because the game was this like super secret thing coming out of PDXCon. Anyway, so, um, but I want to continue our gameplay from, from the other episode, so let's go and load our colony. There we go, right there. And um, components are a critical part of energy and high-end resource production. Yeah, we haven't gotten to components yet and we don't have any energy yet either. <laughs> so we're gonna see how that works. Um, but I'm really anxious to like get more uh, tech points and hopefully get our people a better chance of survival because you gotta realize like there's some like major danger stuff coming uh, ahead for us so we left off with this pandemic event that's gonna happen so let us go and hopefully we can get these buildings built all right it looks like we're uh we need some plastic these guys i want to put this on high priority the medical tent okay so what's going on here with these folks hello all right a couple of your colonists have spotted some sort of vehicle stuck down a deep crevasse. It might still have some useful stuff left inside of it, but climbing down without proper gear will be dangerous. They want to try it nonetheless, claiming it will surely be worth the effort. You know, <laughs> you know, um, uh, we have five medicine. Man, I want to let them try, but... We're, we're gonna have a pandemic. All right, fine. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. The group lowers one member net down. There's indeed an old 4x4 vehicle wedged in tight, but the space is narrow and falling rocks ominously rattle against the truck's body. Most of the doors are rusted shut, but after some grunting and strong language, <laughs> a pile of loot is pulled back to the surface. Oh, this is great. Eight clothing and two medicine. Hey. Oh, that was great. Okay, we need to get this plastic stuff going on. Let's see if we can upgrade this. You're the recycler, you're plastic. Okay, so let's put another person on plastic so we can get the materials for the second medical tent. Uh, there's nobody in here, so let's just take that person out. It's really nice how, like, the symbols for stuff are so big. Like this tent, you know, you can see. that It has this big, like, nobody's working there. All right, let's go to the world map and see. Hey, let's get some more science points. This is really a great opportunity for us. Okay, nice. There are 87 points left. Uh, let's go to our tech thing. Whoops, whoops. Okay. Right, go back, world map. Okay, tech tree, 200 points to spend. We could get advanced farming. This goes to protected crops, greenhouse, ooh. Wow, they can function through a nuclear fallout. That sounds great. Okay. Or alternative proteins. Hello. <laughs> Insect farms. They function similarly to fields, but provide steadier food production and an alternative to meat. That's pretty cool. Find new types of insect eggs to bolster yields even further, but they require energy. That's kind of interesting. I had, okay, this is going to sound really gross, but I had a friend who had an insect farm that she was growing some kind of a, uh, I don't know, but it didn't require energy. Um, now that I think of it, she wasn't eating those insects. She was growing worms for her garden. Okay, never mind. I don't know. But insects grow without energy, you know? All right. Anyway, I think I want bigger fields. Uh, yeah, afford bigger harvests, feeding even the largest of colonies. I want this. I want that so bad. Of course, we don't have any energy, so that's not great. But let's see. Now we can make... So we were making a cookhouse last time as well. Large field. Okay. Oh, grows food in large quantities. Different crops are able to grow outdoors. Okay. Yields twice as much harvest as small, but takes twice the surface area and requires two colonists. I thought you got, got better ratios, though. Four times, but four times the colonists. Ah, and this is three colonists. Ooh, I would love to get this. This is yellow. 
Are there green squares? No. Oh, 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 this looks good. All right, I think I'll make a field over there once we can get the stuff. I'm wondering if I should do corn because remember that cookhouse had this recipe for um, corn plus something. Let's go check that again. If that was here, is that here? Yeah, corn, you can get roasted corn. Ooh, one wood plus two corn is four roasted corn. That sounds actually pretty good. I might convert one of these potato fields. Let's do that. Let's select next. We'll do corn here instead. We were kind of struggling with food last time. All right, come on, folks. Oh, okay, we have our medical tent. Let's take everybody out of there for now. Um, and I think we can take out plastic. What else do we need for these other places? They need concrete, concrete and wow, these need more plastic. So the tailor is not that important. Let's put this lower priority. So is the tool shop. Oh, I haven't seen a need for that. So the cookhouse is going to be important. We need more concrete. Let's find out where. Oh, wow. Okay. So we want to move this work area to where we can get some concrete. Well, this is a great work area because we've got planks, two planks things, and two concrete ruins. Okay, there we go. Oh, this guy's happy. We have harvested the potatoes. Yay. Oh, specialist ready for action. Let's go and see what we can do here. There's a little bit more research in here. Let's get those 87 points. I want all the research points. It is. It would be a waste to leave them behind, I think. Anything else here? No, it's good. It's fine. Okay, so then we can start doing some more exploring uh, later. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we're getting concrete here. That's great. Um, there they go. Oh, yeah. Chipping off the concrete. Let's take that. I wonder if there's another way to get concrete. Probably trading, I guess. All right. Pandemic is going to come in one day. That's terrifying. That's really scary. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll be okay, though. Anyway, we have food going on. Looks like we're we're very, very slowly planting trees, like one tree in this whole area. Of course, we have the logging camp, which is going to work hand in hand with the um, the cookhouse because they're going to make that firewood as well. OK, sawmill is still located here. Okay, grabbing stuff there. Two colonists are fighting. Oh, dear. Pushing through a circle of people, you notice two colonists brawling on the ground. They both stand up upon your arrival and go into accusing each other. One had apparently spent the entire day harassing the other, who finally snapped and threw the first punch. Both are now bruised and bleeding. Jeez. Um, just give them medicine. I, the, the thing is, I, th this is very interesting. I guess the one that is harassing, is that the instigator? And then the one who punched is the aggressor? I don't know. It's hard to say because this one, <laughs> that's aggressive to harass another person. So I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it's, it seems vague. It seems very vague. But I think, oh, and two medicine is a lot, man. You know what? No, I don't want to let him fight. I'm going to punish the instigator. You lay the blame on the one who instigated the fight, claiming they should know better not to pester someone in a time we should all stick together. Okay, so that, that was the one I wanted to... Uh, okay, so that was the instigator. Part of the crowd disagrees with your decision and to blame the aggressor instead. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I would have much... Uh, change to that. Uh, okay, one colonist injured, or two colonists injured, one happiness minus to the colony. That's not ideal. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these medical tents uh, so we can treat those people. Oh, look at this. There we go. So I guess it cost us two medicine instead anyway. Huh, okay. I was hoping to avoid the loss of the medicine there, but... That's okay. What else? what can we do, you know? Just do our best. All right. We need... Man, we need more colonists, really. Recycler. I'm going to take one person out of the recycling area so that we have more people to go and gather this concrete over here. Now, the food hut... 
Here's our warehouse. Oh, a couple of people said in the comments that they thought that the reason I couldn't trade was because I had just removed the bunker and the um, the stuff, the medicine and stuff was still lying on the ground. So I think that's a really good supposition. So now it's in the warehouse. Hopefully it's tradable now. So, okay. So food storage here. Okay, we can go and collect these things later. Oh, yeah, world map. Okay, so where shall we go? Uh, I want to do like a circle around uh, ish. So let's just go here for now. We'll scout this. Ooh, what is this? Electronic store. Holy fuzzy cats. We're getting really lucky. And my uh, in my test game, um, one of the test games, I found a bunch of places which were like bandit camps uh, armed to the teeth. So this is quite lucky that we are getting these uh, kind of like free for all kind of things places. That's very lucky. Very lucky. And I had easier settings on the other game as well. Anyway. Uh, okay. So we have our injured colonists uh, and they're being treated. There we go. I wonder if you can only have... No, I think you can have two occupants at a time. I, I think that's okay. Okay. Uh, we have corn, which is growing, cultivating the potatoes right now as well. I kind of wonder if you can take the people off while stuff is growing. Huh. Let's try taking the person off there. Does it stop growing? No, it doesn't stop growing. So you could just put them on when it's harvestable, maybe? Let's try this. Let's try an experiment with this corn. Probably not a good idea to experiment with food, right? This is a survival game after all. <laughs> okay, cookhouse is completed. Hooray. Okay, so recipe, veggie meal. Oh my god, we have other things. Okay, combination of meats. Fish is counted as meat. <gasps> Ooh. This is meat and veg. Okay, and then stew made of every type of insect. Oh my gosh, look at this. A delicious veggie stew made from any combination of available vegetables. Hey, that's great. Oh, wow. So you like double the food supply. Holy fuzzy cats. I wonder how much nutritional value. Oh my God, wait, people are infected now. This is not good. We have Theo's infected. Um, Come on, go to the medical tent, will you? Go, 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 go. All right. Um... So, yeah, this is great. We want to have this in high priority, I think, this food. So I don't want them to eat the raw food. I just want them to eat other stuff. Um, I think we're going to do... Let's do potatoes next. So basically, this thing in the menu, this is just an abstract thing of corn as a veggie. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening? Okay. We have the pandemic contagion spreading. Let us open up this place as well. I'm going to stop the... Let's take person out of the scrapper's place. We don't have enough plastic. Where else can we afford? Let's do maybe the forester. Looks like they have planted a few small trees there. That's nice. Um, uh, this is bad, man. This is bad. Can I just... I'm going to take you out of there and then somebody can work... Okay, there are people working in both buildings. Maybe they should just work there and not get sick. Oh, this looks horrible. We might not survive this, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Jeez. Specialist ready for action. You are lucky you're not in this town, girl. Mm -mm. Well, of course, you have, you have the royal genes. You're probably immune. <clears throat> so it looks like they can only scavenge some at a time. It looks like seven at a time. So, um, okay, we'll, we'll wait. We're fine. This looks really, really gross and bad. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, now this, this is actually still growing. Is it growing? 24%. I wonder if it needs, to, oh, it is growing. It is definitely growing. 26%, I guess I can take these, this off, this person off as well, in case we need um, more people. How are we going? Let's let's just add more people here. And just hopefully they will get better. Handle it quickly or people will die. Uh, 
I don't even know how to just do things. Oh, we have a group at the gate. Hey, guys! <laughs> I'm going to try to answer their call at the very end uh, of the timer here. I do want them to be part of our colony, but I don't want them to get sick because we don't have a lot of medicine. And maybe this medicine doesn't even help us. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, we can we can take some people out of these medical huts here. All right, this is fine. Two colonists are infected. Can you guys go to the medical hut, please? Please? Like, please, man. Please? All right. I hope we can get food. We'll watch this timer here. Let's see. Uh, I think we need to do this at a high level here. This one, kind of important. Specialist, yay. Go ahead and get this again, please. Oh, they might have a specialist with them, that group as well. All right, people, stop dying. Stop it. Okay, that got a little bit. I pressed Q or E, I think. Um, okay, that need to, needs to be constructed. We have four people on the construction team. So, oh, right. Yes. Hey, nice. Let's move their work area. Um, okay, I'm going to invite them in. I don't want to, like, forget about this. Uh, a ragged bunch shuffles slowly toward the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads, Our caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits and we got no place to go. Could you please help us? We'll give you every little bit we have left for some medicine or shelter. Um, yeah. Hey, we'll take Fort Collins. We don't have six medicine to give, and we can't give it anyway. The group is frankly surprised by your offer, having little words aside from thank you to say. The injured are advised to seek the medic immediately. Um, yeah, that's rough times. Hold on a minute. Yep. That should be advised. I will uh, write that down. Three corn, five tools, and four colonists. Right now, we just need manpower. Uh, okay, so we have somebody to work in the logging camp. This is great. This is really great. Oh, hold on. That's interesting. Um, so they're going to chop their own trees. I thought they would take trees from the sawmill. But this is actually better that they have their own tree chopping thing going on. Colonist Muhammad is uh, homeless. That is not ideal. Right, we definitely... Wow, seven colonists are infected now? Oh, no! This is bad. All right, let's get people in the huts, helping them. Ooh, I don't know if we can we can do stuff here. We are at minus four and a half water. This is not ideal. Let's go get ourselves another well. Now, one of the things about the wells is, like, you can't see where the other wells are. And that's a little bit annoying, like, I don't know where to put the next well, because I don't know where that well is, you know? It's like, a well. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. But it's like, huh? Where does it go? Where do we put this thing? I think... Uh, I can't even see another well on here. Is there like an... Her, let me pause the game for a minute. Do we have an overlay or something? Um, let's see. Overview. Buildings. Water production. We have four water production buildings. That does not help us at all. Come on, thing. You gotta tell us stuff here. Wow, needs fear of death. Holy fuzzy cats. That's pretty rough. Okay, here are our colonists. Resources. Buildings. Okay, here we go. We have one water well. Wow. Are you telling me that you can't sort this? Oh no, I hope this can be sorted in the future. Okay, well this is early access. It is fine. Water well. Water tower. Uh, We have two water wells. One and two right there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I was hoping for an overlay or something like that. Tech tree, nope. Specialists, nope. Statistics, that's that. Radio stations, we're okay. Radio Armageddon. <laughs> oh dear. It'll be fine. All right. It, it really will be fine. We'll, we'll be great. We'll be just great. This will put us over on water production. So 
See, this one is here. Would be so nice to have like a uh, an overlay showing us where we can and can't put these things. Let's do that for now. Um, I think we can put people on the farms just to make sure that we have people on the farms. Now, what we might choose to do instead is actually have another field out here, like a big field that, that has three workers for four thingamajingies. Let's try that. So we can have four farmers. Let's rotate this. Seems like an okay place to put it here, maybe. I hope the farmers don't scare off the, the critters. I think this was fairly decent ground. I'm going to leave a little bit of space so we can put some buildings up here. Uh, or... Actually, no, this is good. This is a... This area here is the venison. This is the trapper. So we want to leave these woods and leave these woods. So we should not build anything there, I think. Okay. Um, I also want to build a house of some kind. Emergency shelter. Sure. We have one person homeless. That's not a lot, so that's okay. Let's put this shelter here on the back side of this one. Right there. And then we can also do the roads as well. There we go. Nice. This can go this way. Okay. Very nice. Then I'll also have a road here going... There are berries there, apparently. There's a well there. I guess I could go this way with this or something. I don't know. Just some kind of road to get stuff to the... To a, a storage area. Because this is if th this is going to be a massive crop thing going on here. At least we won't have to micromanage these then. Alright, so... I hope we survive this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to surviving it. It would be great. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, this is this is a bit scary, I have to admit. All right, let's go fast forward. Hopefully, the faster we go, the faster people will get cured and stuff. Okay, I think people are getting healed. Okay, this person is getting healed. Two colonists are infected now. Only one person is infected. Survivors are seeking shelter. Ooh, they got stuff, man. This world keeps changing us. We were ambushed by a group who spoke with no words, only gestures. We never heard them coming. Uh, I guess so. We have four adults and one child. They have four clothing, 24... I think those are candy bars. Um, two tools and ten meat. Yeah, let's go ahead and have them. Come on in. Now we have six colonists homeless. That's okay because we're building this and this holds six people. Three colonists are injured? What the heck have you people... Oh, that's right. They were ambushed. I forgot about that. All right. Um, yeah. Well, we have now plenty of people who are doing stuff. Let's put another person on the scrapper while we can then. And um, wow, the tr plastic trash is running out. That's not ideal. Okay. Pandemic is spreading. No. Come on, guys. Specialist ready for action. Good. All right. Go here again. Just gather all the things. This place. This is the forester. Let's have the forester work. We have this person making firewood. This person doing the lumber stuff. Water is a big problem. We need to get this done immediately, guys. Three colonists are infected with one injured. All right, these po folks are bringing back some concrete, so that's good. Let's see. Okay, protein bars. That's what that purple thing is. It's like it's either that or some kind of like C4 explosive or something. I have no idea. I, I don't see these things in real life. I, I just have the game renditions to go off. It's fine. Anyway, um, right, we have clothes. Production zero, consumption 24. That is not ideal. But hopefully we're going to get some veggie meals soon. Do we have any veggies at all? We do. We got some potatoes. We have 28 veggie meals. Life is good. Hey. All right. We have this um, place here. Let's select a... Let's get some potatoes going on here. I want potatoes there. Okay. 
This one... Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, we're good, we're good. I think we should be good here. We're getting this field tilled. Okay, berries. Alright, when does this whole thing... There's nobody infected right now. I'm gonna fire some of these people so they can go and gather stuff. Because we need that concrete pretty, pretty soon here. Three colonists infected now again. Yep, water well. We definitely need that concrete. Okay, there's one, zero. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna get stuff added to this. Yeah, this is rough times. This is this is quite depressing as well. It's like, oh my god, are we gonna get this going? Is that gonna be a thing? It's plastic there. Okay, we have issues now. Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of trap. Ah, yes. Let's go and get stuff. Let's do this. Oh no! <laughs> God. Rabbit season. The group finally returns. Looking miserable and exhausted. They were rummaging through polluted grounds. Two colonists. Radiation sickness. Yay. Yay. Wait. Okay. Let's go to the map again. We have a little bit more in here. Grab it all, please. Does she have anything interesting? She's got some jerky, I think. Food or something. Wait, can you go here instead? And then go here? Are you done? Hello? Oh, there's nothing there anymore, I guess. Uh, right, so let's go... Ah, let's go and seek this place out over here. Oh, it's a clothing place. It's a gas station. They have 11 clothing, but there is a danger 33% and a hazard of one skull. We probably shouldn't get it, but the moment that we have a lot of fiber, as soon as we get our clothing making place up, that's this one, the tailor, um, we should be able to turn that fiber into clothing. All right. Emergency shelter. Oh, hey, no more pandemic. Hey, 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 this is looking really good. Okay, great. All right. Shelter is done so people can have a good time and not... Uh, yeah. Not feel like uh, they don't have a place to stay. Okay. Still taking care of these patients, though. This is good. This is good. This is very good. Oh, can we change the name of the colonists? This, I don't know. Let's find out. I didn't even look at this. I was, like, so excited about this game. And it's like, oh, can we do the things and the stuff and all the things and all the stuff? Colonists. Mm -hmm. Liam, can we change your name? No. Okay, so we can't change their names just yet. Wait, show this colonist? Does that give us a thingy-majingy? No. Okay. All right. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to do that. Now then, we have four uh, carriers working on stuff. So that's really good. Uh, now we have a gigantic field over there. I think we need all of the fields right now. Let's see. We're still getting this concrete. I am really worried about the water. Wow, we are at equal consumption and production. Not much spare, I have to say. Small concrete ruin depleted. All right, so this one should give us enough concrete for the rest of that water well, I'm hoping. Okay, they're bringing stuff. They're building stuff. Yay! Okay, hopefully. Come on, guys. Grab the concrete. Okay, we have another action. Yay. So I guess we should go for it. All right, Empress of Sweden. Go go and go here and grab stuff. Yay. Oh, you didn't die. That's good. No HP loss. Okay, nice. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, so this tool shop is also getting built. I really want you guys to build the water well first, though. I can't tell you how important that is to me, that you actually finish this, people. Like, that's kind of necessary. Come on. Okay, food-wise, we are doing really well. We've got 44 veggie meals. That's really good. Um, all right, so concrete ruin depleted out here. I think we need to go and move the collection spots for stuff. 
Um, to get... Okay, there's another concrete ruin over there. I guess we can go with this one in the planks, perhaps. I don't know. What is this? Large concrete ruin. Ooh. Hey, we'll take that, I think. We'll get this. Yeah. Good. Okay. We're, we're gathering. We're doing well. It'll be fine. Okay. Water well is done. We are plus 12 water. I don't feel very secure with this amount, though. I think we should put another... We need to make another water well. Let's go and grab one. Uh, because there are, like, heat um, events and stuff. We put one out. Okay, there's this one. So, maybe out here somewhere? Like there? Put it nearby. Nearby the pollution? Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know if that matters. We'll see. <clears throat> hey, new fizzy water. It sparkles green. It's fine. <laughs> a colonist found something. There's a mysterious wagon outside. Really? Okay, you, it's found somewhere. Let's see. One of the colonists rushes toward you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here. It's covered with a tarp, so they couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one could tell where they lead. The colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable. I think it's a good idea to arm the colonists. Yes, search the wagon, but arm the colonists. Go for it. All right, a small group of colonists ventures out to search the wagon. It takes them a while, but eventually they return. The wagon was only carrying a small amount of supplies, but that's not the worst of it. It had been pushed through a radiated zone, and a few colonists are already showing signs of radiation sickness. No! All right, so we got two colonists with sickness of radiation variety and two tools and nine fiber. Okay. Uh, I feel like, you know, planks are okay to spend because we have really nice renewable source of that. So that's pretty good. This is not that exciting. <laughs> I apologize for this. But when we have these resources, it's good. I would love to get more tech points. Okay, so they have none. There's nothing left. So next turn, we can go and search somewhere else. Oh, wow. Look at them. See, they glow green. Isn't that nice? Well, it's not that nice. <laughs> it's not that nice really okay we finally have our tailor working that's good uh insufficient construction materials for water well what do we need we need more concrete okay we'll get that soon uh we did get the tailor so we're gonna set that working uh we also have the tool shop i don't know if we need that many tools what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause this um and i'm gonna fire this person because uh, we don't have that much metal to be converting into tools. I don't know what we're using the tools for, though. All right, deposit depleted over here with these berries. So food. Man, look at the Hey, yay, let's go to irradiated zones. It's, it's great. Um, I don't think... Ah, oh, man, I guess I could get these berries... If only for trade or something. We have so many veggie meals. That's really great. I'm quite happy about that, actually. And these are growing quite nicely. Um, yeah, this is going to take a while, but it's fine. I love that we can like literally double our food that way. I don't know how much of this firewood we need. It's not... doesn't seem to be as part of our centralized storage stuff. So maybe it's a separate kind of a resource. But it looks it looks good. Okay, let's fire this person from here. We only need really one of these medical tents operating uh, for the time being. I think that should be fine. So at the moment, we're kind of just waiting for new people to arrive, I guess. To see what's going on with this. Or getting more tech points or something. Uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get a band of people where they will arrive with another specialist. Because you can have more than one specialist uh, doing stuff. All right, so why don't you go over here and search this zone, please? Ooh, okay, we have planks there. I don't know if that's worth it. I'd rather explore, I think. So one thing that I don't know is, is it important to search around? Are there bandits that will come and attack us? I have no idea. Uh, hopefully we'll find out because obviously we would want to have a perimeter to know about stuff. 
But on the other hand, I haven't seen a single um, a military structure or weapon making of any kind. Uh, there's this. This is like a sheriff's badge. But that's all we have is the gate. Anyway, uh, we could build another water tower. That might be useful as well. Um, let's see. Put this like out here, maybe. Can I continue this road this way? Because running out of water is no joke, man. No joke at all. Okay, if I build a water tower, that can go right there. Perfect. Okay, this one. Oh, I like this symbol. That means there's no more plastic. Ah, the next one is way out there. Um, I think I want to... So now this is a question. Like, how hard is it for them to... Do they walk mostly? Does it matter where the building is? Do the work hours depend on how they get into here? Or how does that work exactly? Let's, um... You know what? I'm going to move the work area because we don't get 100% of the materials back. We only get a partial. And I don't know how much that is exactly. But it did say partial. You get partial back. Alright, let's go and just see what's going on. An odd fellow at the gate. He wants to see the leader. Okay, hi dude. How you doing? Dr. Wizard, MD. A very peculiar man approaches you, arms stretched out well in advance for a handshake. Hello, 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 I'm back. He starts, or am I? Was I here before? Never mind, Dr. Wizard MD, at your service. He announces, I can fix all ailments with my simple patent pending formula I've brewed with science and magics. He claims to be able to cure all your colonists in an instant for no payment. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think he can fix this. N no? But it's a carefully researched mixture of corn flour, herbs, and antelope, each with a pinch of crushed glowy rock. I spared no expense in developing it. Some people have no appreciation for science or magics. He bids you farewell and shuffles off into the wilderness. Yeah. Traditional quack medicine. There we go. Bye-bye, dude. Bye-bye. We ain't gonna... We're not gonna fall for that. Let's go and see here, maybe. What's there? Oh, what do we have here? Bandit lair. 25 something. That looks like a bag of groceries or maybe a cup of fruit. So this this could be hard defeating them. I really would rather have research points, though. I want those research points. I have to just, like, look on th over the whole map. We'll get there, though. Um, all right. So there we go. We can do. Oh, my God. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, really? Oh, we can repair this. Thank goodness. This is not good. I didn't order a corn roast, people. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so this can happen. This one didn't lose that much HP. It went down to 78%, but field is toasted, man. So, yep. Field is toasted. Wondering if I should have... <laughs> I was like, maybe just two big fields instead of two small ones and another one. I'm thinking the more fields, the better right now. That is rough times, man. Okay, so with that, uh, our colony is safe for the moment. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me. If you're interested in the game and want to participate in its development, we have the little thing, the feedback thing here. You can order it right now on the Epic Games Store. And I would be honored if you use my code for doing so, if you think you might like the game. So anyway, thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.